Welcome to a new episode of A Guide to Lotro. In today's episode, The Greenway. The Greenway is an ancient road that was built at the end of the Second Age by the Numenorians. To connect Fornost all the way with Gondor, like Pelargil and Minas Tirith. With update 34, before the Shadow, they added two new maps. Cardolan and Swanfleet, which are low-level regions. With these two new regions, we can now fully travel all the way from the start to the end on the Greenway. And this is what we are going to do today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. With that being said, let's start the video. On a very surface level, let me quickly tell the history of the man in a few sentences. At the end of the First Age, there was a war called the War of Wrath. This war was mainly fought between the elves, men and dwarves of uh, Beleriand against Morgoth and his army of darkness. Besides Morgoth, the other Valars were also partially included. This war then concluded into the entire destruction of the continent Beleriand, as I'm gonna show you here in the map. Beleriand sank into the ocean Belegair and swallowed everything with it. The few men that survived this war and basically helped the elves and Valar defeat Morgoth were granted a new home, which is the island Númenor in the Belegair. As time went on, Númenor had many kings. To the point where these kings basically became unaware of their past and started rebelling against the Valar which still live in the Undying Lands in the west. Ultimately they were influenced by Sauron and basically corrupted. Under Sauron's corruption they sailed west trying to challenge the Valar. In the end that didn't really went well. Numenor and the entire fleet of ships that tried to sail west got literally destroyed by the god himself, called Eru. There was a few Numenorians led by Elendil and his sons Isildur and Anarion that did not participate into betraying the Volars. With nine ships they fled to Middle-earth during the destruction of Numenor. Elendil, as the leader of these few surviving Numenorians, established two kingdoms. In the south he established Gondor, which would then be further on handled by Anarion, one of his two sons. And in the north he established Arnor, which was then led by Isildur mainly. The problem was those two kingdoms were fairly far apart geographically. In order to connect those two kingdoms, they were forced to build a road. And that's how the Great Road was constructed. In the Third Age, this road is mainly called the Greenway by the people of Breetown, and that's also how we kinda know it in-game. On the in-game map, that kinda looks like this. This road would then in the end connect Fornost all the way down to Pelargil. In this video, we journey together all the way from Fornost down the Greenway to Pelargil. And on the way, we're gonna stop at a few locations where I'm gonna say a few words. So get yourself a drink, something to eat, because we go on a road trip today. We start our journey all the way up in Fornost in the North Downs. On our way, the Greenway has to pass several rivers. The first one is called the Norseer, which is passed by the Trestlespan Bridge. The next map we are entering is the Breland map, where the Greenway looks like this.
So this is not really a lore, but with update 34, they patched a rock on the path between Breland and Trestlebridge. That rock became famous and they call it Dwayne Rock Johnson, like the actor. In front of Breton, we have the Greenway crossing the Great East Road. If you're curious about the Great East Road, there is a video on my channel about this one as well. Cardolon is the next map we are entering and also one of the new ones of Update 34. You can also read in-game that the Greenway is actually noted. On this map you find a lot of ruins. Cardolon was one of the three kingdoms that Arnor basically fell apart into. To learn more about this, I referenced to my video about Angmar and the North Downs. But there will also be a guide to Lodger video about Cardolon coming soon. So here we make a little stop, this one is called Tarbot that you can see in the video. Here we have another crossing of a big river, this one is called the Guatlo. There was a moment in the middle of the Second Age when one of the Numenorian kings traveled upstream to meet Galadriel around this place. The fleet of the Numenorian king needed an outpost where they can safely be parked, I guess. And this is probably when Tarbot was constructed. When the Greenway was built, they also fortified Tarbot and built a huge bridge as you can see here. In the war against the Witch King, Tarbot then got destroyed in the Third Age. The next map you are crossing is Swanfleet, another one of Update 34. So the Greenway was usually the terminus that people from like Breland would call the uh, Great Road or the North-South Road also called by the Numenorians. Here in Swanfleet the road is uh, renamed to the Old South Road. This is the name given to this road in the Third Age by the local people living here still. It is also important to mention that after the fall of the Kingdom of Arnor into Artedain, Cardolon and Rudor, the Greenway lost its reputation and people stopped using it. That all happened like multiple decades ago, so what you see nowadays in the game is usually like some ancient remains of that road. Enid White is the next map the Greenway crosses. Here we slowly get into Donland territory. On the way we sometimes have also like Numenorian buildings, which are sort of artifacts from the time when this road was actively being used. Nowadays it is inhabited by Donlandings. You can see here in the distance Harn Dirion. This is a location added by Lotro and is called Southwatch in Sindarin. Usually you can clearly distinguish if a building is made by Gondorian, Numenorians, etc. or by anyone else. The game does a very well distinguishing by using different building colors and materials. The next map we are crossing is Stonland. As we know from in-game, Donland is a very mountain, hilly region where the road kind of falls apart. It is also quite a challenge to follow the road here. But similar to Enid White, we can also find here Gondorian Numenorian architecture from ancient times. Of course, we also can find the Dunlandings that have their main capital here called Galtref. The Greenway would follow here the Gap of Rohan, how it is called then in the Third Age. It is also worth to mention that Isengard was constructed by the Numenorians after the fall of Numenor. It was basically built as a watchtower to watch the Gap of Rohan and, you know, protect uh, the Greenway or this route here. 
in Isengard, they also had one of the Palantirs to communicate with the other Palantirs scattered around in Arnor and Gondor. We are now entering Western Rohan. Please keep in mind that Rohan was founded around 2500 years after the Greenway was actually a thing and was constructed. Before Rohan was founded, the Numenorians of the Second Age called this region here Kalinardon. It was usually described as a wild landscape which was unpopulated at the time. It is also fairly hard to follow the Greenway here since so much has changed since then. We also have no Gondorian Numenorian architecture here. So you can basically imagine the Greenway here just being a road in the nowhere. We are now entering Far on Orion with the next map. This is now again a region where Numenorians built fortresses and smaller towns along the Greenway. That's why we can always find here a lot of Numenorian architecture. The same goes for the next map, Old Anorian, where we get closer to the end of the Greenway. Here of course we are entering now Gondor, which was the goal of the Greenway to connect to Arnor. There's a lot of uh, Numenorian Gondorian fortresses on the way. The capital of Gondor back then was of Osgiliath. They constructed a lot of like watchtowers around Osgiliath to protect it from any possible attack. For example, we have Minas Anor, Minas Ithil that protect from attacks from Mordor or from like the Ered Nimras. But we also have in the north of the Anduin, Ker Andros. Ker Andros was mainly constructed to give a safe passing across the Anduin, but also protect from ships that could cross into Osgiliath from the north. The same goes for Pelargil, which has the same function as Ker Andros, but in the south. Here in the video we can also see Minas Tirith, which was formerly called Minas Anor. So we reached basically the end and this is now Eastern Gondor where the Greenway stops and ends at Pelargil. Pelargil was constructed before the fall of Numenor by the Numenorians themselves. Similar to Tarbat, Pelargil was also constructed as some sort of outpost for the Numenorians in Middle-earth. Especially since Numenorians have to get to Middle-earth by ship, they needed a port, a safe port for their ships to anchor. But after the destruction of Numenor, Pelargil became one of the main fleeing points for the Numenorans to go to. And this is where our road trip ends today. At the east gate of Pelargil, where the Greenway, the Great Road, the North-South Road, it has many names, has its end. For me as someone that really likes the lore before like the Third Age, this is really a cool addition to the game adding Cardulon and Swanfleet that allow me to now travel this road all the way through. I hope this video was informative for you and I hope the next time you travel on the Greenway you probably now understand the meaning of this path. And feel free to travel it on your own. It took me around, I would say, 50 minutes with a regular 78% horse to travel from Fornost all the way down here to Pelargil. It's definitely worth your time because there's a lot of uh, nice things to see on the way. 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in a next video of a guide to Lotro.